Hi, this is Michael Oral from MobileVern.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Stone 2 Bluetooth headset from Jabra. It's available now for $129 from AT&T. So here we have this Stone 2 in the charging base and I've uh, installed the belt clip just so you can see how that works. It just slides right in there. Very easy to remove as well. Now you're going to notice when I pop out the headset it's automatically going to start talking about going into pairing mode. Now, of course, it starts talking as soon as you pop it out of the base because it automatically powers up as soon as you do that, and you couldn't possibly have it in your ear quickly enough to hear the beginning of what they're saying. So now I'm going to pair it up with the Nexus S here by tapping here. And you can see that it's requesting access to my phone book because it uses it for voice dialing purposes. And we should be all set up. So before I get into the actual use of the headset though, let's take a look at some of the additional bits that come in the package. Uh, these three here are all earbuds of sorts, so you can replace the uh, stock one there with that. This last one actually doesn't isn't related to the earbuds at all. It's uh, if you're not using the belt clip, it just slides into the stone base, um, so as to keep it nice and sealed. You can see right there, I removed the belt clip and stuck that little plug in there. Let's take a look at the um, hardware design of the base. Three little LEDs right there. I'll show you what those do in a short while. There's the micro USB charging port and a charging LED indicator. See the groove here and the shape where um, the headset itself rests, and then there's the four contacts where it gets power. So if I just grab the headset here, drop that into place, you'll then see these three LEDs light up, indicating that I have a full charge on the headset. If there were two LEDs, it means two-thirds charge, and one LED means one-third charge. The headset powers off as soon as you stick it into the base, and likewise, if you push it out, it'll automatically power on. You might have even heard the headset say that it's just powered on. You can see the Bluetooth indicator there as well as the battery status indicator. Take a look at the rest of the headset design. Looks very much like the original Stone, a uh, different finish, uh, gloss, high gloss finish now with a little metal job or loco down here at the bottom. Everything's self-contained. Uh, nothing you know, flexible but does not bend in a new position and there's really there's only that one button right here that you get just by tapping there. You've probably noticed that I failed to mention a volume control so far and that's because there's no separate physical button for that. This surface of the headset itself is touch sensitive. It's a capacitive touch sensor right there. So you just slide your finger up to turn up the volume or down to turn down the volume. The coolest feature on the Stone 2 though is its voice system. Um, not only will it announce the caller's name or phone number as it appears in your contact list, but it will also allow you to answer the call just by saying answer. Answer. Now we've established the call. Now if I want to end the call, I just press here on the button. In addition to answering the call by saying answer, you can also ignore it by saying obviously ignore. Other functions include uh, double tapping to uh, redial the last number. If you press the button once, you get battery status. And of course you can always manually power off the device just by long pressing the button here. So at the end of the day, all these great features and great industrial design and uh, you know the voice recognition and voice prompts, all that kind of stuff, that's really f fantastic. But it doesn't mean a heck of a lot if the headset doesn't really do the primary purpose correctly. You know, that's voice quality. You know, if you don't understand the remote party very well and they don't understand you all that well, then you don't really get much out of a headset. And I'm afraid that's the case of the Jobber Stone too. Great looking design and feature set, and you know, good battery life and recharging from the stone and everything like that but the call audio just wasn't up to the $129 price so um, not really not something I can recommend here so thanks for watching I'm Michael Oral from mobileburn.com